Hi, I'm Daniel Bocci at BocciPaintball.com and today we're going to disassemble a classic Sheridan PGP. This PGP was probably built around 1988 or 1989, possibly 1987. It has the aluminum pump and it has just the regular bolt. The bolt does have ball bearings in it uh, and it does have the classic just standard Sheridan valve and we're going to use our valve tool and we also have a couple of other tools that we're going to use to disassemble this gun and then we're going to rebuild the valve with a standard Sheridan cup seal, a standard Sheridan face seal, a valve o-ring. This goes on the front of your valve and it seals the valve body from leaking. And we're going to add in a new valve casing o-ring. So for breaking down our classic Sheridan PGP, we're gonna use our Sheridan valve tool. You can see it has a rectangular cut out on the end, which will insert inside of our valve retaining screw and we'll be able to turn that screw out of the body. We also have our valve punch, which once we remove the O-ring from uh, behind the valve casing assembly, we're going to put this in the front of the lower tube and we're gonna just knock the valve casing uh, right out the back of the lower tube and we have a 90 degree uh, Phillips screwdriver for getting the screw out of the front of the grip frame. We also have some needle tools, which we will use to remove that O-ring from the back of the brass valve sleeve at the rear of the valve assembly. So let's take a look at the inside of the valve of this PGP and we will rebuild it. And we'll just be rebuilding this PGP with these standard Sheridan parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the grip frame and I will just put my 90 degree screwdriver in here. Take that screw out. Now we're going to remove the back Sheridan rear plug. We don't even necessarily have to Remove that all the way, you can just slide that out and the spring's coming right out with it. And we're going to drop the hammer out. And there's our hammer. And there was a ball bearing in the hammer to boost the velocity a little bit. We're going to take off the 12 gram cap. So now I'm also going to turn the bolt slightly so that the lug is out of the way of our valve tool. I'm going to drop my valve tool into the valve uh, retaining screw and take with my 90 degree Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just going to give it a little turn. It's taking some force because it's been sealed for 20 years, but now it's turning. I'm going to just unscrew my valve retaining screw and there's my valve retaining screw covered in gunk. Now I'm going to take the valve retaining screw off, flip my tool over, it's threaded on the other side. I just screw this in, and so I'm now screwing into the back of the Sheridan valve, which is threaded specifically for this tool, so you can pull it out with this tool. And I'm just wiggling it around a little bit, that's loosening up the seal that's been there for 20 years. I'm popping the valve out, there's our valve. Unscrewing it from my valve tool. Setting it on the side, we can see there's our standard Sheridan valve. Now I'm gonna take my needle tool and I'm gonna use this needle tool right here and I'm going to, well, there's my Sheridan valve spring. I'm gonna use my needle tool now and I'm going to take my O-ring out. So I always find the hardest part of disassembling a classic Sheridan valve is actually removing the o-ring behind the brass valve sleeve. This is the o-ring that goes on the front of your valve when you reinstall your valve and it just gets sandwiched in there. It's almost impossible to remove. Um, I've already got it unstuck in this shot but I just want to demonstrate where it actually is. It's right here. So now I'm just going to grab it and remove it from this PGP and here it comes. There it is right there. So usually it's stuck in there, you just have to make sure that you get that out. I have my punch here, 
and this is just a long piece of Delrin that fits right into the uh, valve casing assembly. And I'm just put this down my barrel and just tap on the end of it, and we can just watch our valve casing assembly shoot right out the back of our Sheridan. So now looking at our valve casing assembly, we can pull it apart and see the parts that are involved in it. So we have our steel 12 gram seal holder head assembly, and we have our brass sleeve for the valve casing assembly. Inside of that, we have a steel sleeve that holds the two parts together. It goes just like this if we were going to reassemble it. That goes on the end just like that. And then we have a seal right around the end of the assembly here. And that prevents air from escaping out the front of the PGP or PMI valve. So what we'll do now is we'll use our needle tool again. We'll use our needle tool to pry out the old decayed um, face seal. Didn't look too bad, but the seal is soft. So I'm going to just replace it. So now we have our Sheridan classic valve assembly and valve casing all assembled in one piece with all of our old seals. And I did this just so I can demonstrate which seals we're going to be replacing. So we're going to just pull the valve off and we can take our old cup seal out, just drop that. We'll take our seal off the front of the valve, which is also the old one. Go ahead and drop that too. Then we'll take our seal off the front of the valve casing. Also just drop that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start with our new, we're going to start with our new exhaust valve. We're going to just drop that into the valve assembly just like so. We're going to take our, we're going to take our new O-ring for the front of the valve assembly. We're just going to pop that on there. Now we're going to slide this assembly inside of the valve casing. We're going to take the new O-ring that goes on the front of the steel 12 gram head. We're going to just put that in there. I call this a steel 12 gram head or the steel 12 gram uh, seal holder because that's what it really does is it holds the seal inside of there. And I'm going to go, just go ahead and put the new uh, Palmer's 12 gram face seal inside of here because I know that that's going to be a, a much more reliable seal. And it's a little tight but that's okay. And there we go. Now it's in. After I have this entire assembly together, I'm going to just take my valve spring and I'm going to slide it onto my cup seal like that and reassemble. And now I'm going to take my valve retaining screw, put this on the end of my valve. I'm going to take my valve tool, insert that into my valve retaining screw. And now I'm going to insert this into my PGP. And now I'm going to reassemble the PGP. So we have our entire valve on our valve tool. We're going to just slide that into our PGP and we're going to screw it in and give it a turn with our 90 degree Phillips tool. It's nice and snug. Pull this out, drop our hammer and our valve spring into our PGP. Place our grip frame onto the PGP and screw in our front grip frame screw just like so and give the front grip frame screw a nice snug tighten down. Grip frame screw is nice and tight. We can take our PGP out to the field and it should be working well. So now that we've replaced the seals and the exhaust valve in our Sheridan PGP, we're going to throw a 12 gram in and we're going to air it up. Before we do that, let's put on our goggles and now we'll just take out the front 12 gram plug. I'm just going to unscrew that. And remember that this PGP is shoot to pierce. So the 12 gram isn't going to pierce until I cycle it. Okay, so now I've screwed in my front 12 gram plug. I'm going to Go ahead and pop my PGP, and now when I pull the trigger, it's going to be aired up. No leaks. 
try it again. And seems like it's cycling fine. A couple of upgrades that I would recommend on a stock PGP like this would be a rear velocity adjuster, an RVA, a fast changer, which allows you to remove the 12 gram plug quickly. I would also recommend a Delrin pump and probably the best modification that you can do yourself at home if you have a Dremel is on the left hand side you can cut an area away right here and that will allow you to quick strip the bolt. So for those PGP upgrades you can find most of those on botchypaintball.com and if you can't you can always find them on Palmer's. Uh, for hard parts uh, such as hard internals uh, such as you know any of the top tube parts the uh, lower valve assembly parts most of those are also available on bocchipaintball.com uh, all the valve casing parts are uh, stock 12 gram plugs stock back plugs are uh, valves valve retaining screws hammers i have all of those for seals though i have some seals but i would really recommend getting seals at palmer's Thanks for watching this breakdown on the PGP video. We'll have a whole bunch more eventually. Uh, lots of different style videos, lots of different things going on.